Hi, good morning to you all. Thank you for getting up early to share devotionals with me. Uh, it's always a real privilege to be able to share this time together. We've been talking about some of the names of God, and we want to talk today, and continue talking today, about Jehovah Makadesh. This is meaning the God who sanctifies. You see, God is holy. We spoke about that last week, did we not? That holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. We've been dealing with that in church as well. But we realize today that God is the God who sanctifies. He told us 700 times he uses this name in Scripture, Jehovah Magadesh. I think he's therefore trying to tell us about something about what being sanctified is all about. And there is something very special about it. There are two aspects of sanctification that I really think are worth taking notice of. The first aspect of sanctification is the sanctification, sanctification that comes by way of a position that we are being given. Where God has drawn us out of the world, He's chosen us to be His people. In 1 Peter, he speaks of this, let me read this to you. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. That's an amazing, it speaks of positional change from one who was at enmity with God to now being in unity with God in purpose to be able to fulfill his kingdom and his, his calling to his honor and to his glory. But it's a set apartness that God is talking about here. He's chosen you. If you're a believer today, you are the chosen one. And then we speak about the second aspect of sanctification, which is somewhat different. This is the process of sanctification, because God wants us to reflect more of the nature of who Christ is, and that's a growing process. Now, the second agent of our Trinity is Jesus. He's the one who came to earth, and he's the one who suffered, and he's the one who came by way of being the person to sanctify mankind to take away their sin so that they could become right with God. The third person of the Trinity is the Holy Spirit. He's the one who indwells us. He's the one who empowers us. He's the one who brings all things to remembrance. He's the one who helps us to find a closer walk with Jesus. He's the one who interprets the scriptures to us. He's the one who speaks into our heart and into our minds. And he's the one right here at this particular time who indwells you. In that mystical union that we spoke about the other day, the Holy Spirit indwells you. And He is the agent through, with the, through which the sanctifying process will take place. God had the plan, Jesus was, the, plan, was the, the person, and the Holy Spirit is the one who brings purpose to our sanctification. I hope that makes sense to you. I don't feel like I've explained it all that well, but I think you kind of got the gist of it. And so when we see what this process of sanctification looks like, we realize that God is with us because He is in us. And He is empowering us day by day to resist temptation, to stand for Him in difficult times, and to be the agent through which He can work here on planet Earth. Now, I hope that this sanctification thing is going to mean something to you. I'm just blown away by the people that God chooses to sanctify. I'm blown away that he got to choose me. I feel highly privileged. But if I were God, I would have chosen a bunch of people very different to the one that he chose. You see, God has chosen to bring the least of the world to dominate and to become his agent. Because if those who were popular and powerful were chosen, they would think they were the ones who'd done the good. Just have a look at some of the people in the Bible and you'll see this to be true. Have a look at Moses. What a great agent he was in God's hands, but he didn't always see himself quite like that. In fact, Moses, after 40 years in the wilderness, was the epitome of humility. All that he learned in Egypt, and now he had unlearned it all, and now he'd become dependent upon God. And God turned Moses from being what he was to what he is or what we read about today as a great person in God's family and a great person that God could use because he was chosen of God. He was empowered by God to do what God called him to do and to be what God called him to be. People listen carefully. Nothing has changed. God does the same thing for us as he's always done. He calls us. He empowers us. 
or because of the complete work of Christ upon the cross where God chose us to be his children. I don't know about you, but that just does something in my spirit that stirs my soul in the belief that God can use even me. That's crazy, but it's true. Have a great day. See you soon.